Thank you for that. All right. Good afternoon, Chairman um, and members of the committee. My name is Sarah Hunt Blackwell. I'm the First Amendment Policy Advocate with the ACLU of Georgia. Um, I, I want to take just a little bit of time to kind of clarify um, what Tracy was just saying. The, the code um, that's referenced is 16-12-102, subsection 5. Um, and it says that sexual conduct means actual or simulated acts of masturbation, comma, homosexuality. Um, yeah, keep right. reading. Right. That's so absolutely. homosexuality yeah. isn't inherently sexual. Just 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 because you're saying that there's homosexuality, that could just mean generally a relationship between two people of the same sex. But there doesn't have to be any sexual act included within that. So that's why we're bringing issue to that word being included and referenced within the bill. Um, so I just kind of wanted to point that out and make that distinction. Um, beyond that, and, and I'm, I'm happy to take questions, too, but beyond that, um, this bill is an unconstitutional censorship bill that designates books based on content. Um, the, some of the language that's included in this bill, such as vulgar, restricted material, and just the definition of sexually explicit conduct itself does not fall in line with the Miller test. Um, and any bans and, and prohibitions on books and um, curricula in schools must fall in line with the Miller test. And there are, there's a lot of language in here that does not fall within that line. Um, harmful to minors might be a copy and paste, but there are other, there's substantial language in here that does not fall in line with the Miller test at all. Thank you. Uh, Jennifer Sanders, Saunders, sorry about that. 